Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Thanks for tuning in on our daily devotional, Hope for Today. We're going to be spending time in the book of 2 Timothy to just bring to bear upon our hearts in our everyday lives God's call for discipleship. I'm going to be getting all in the ins and outs of what it even means to be a disciple. What does it mean to be a disciple maker? What is this thing we call discipleship? We'll be bringing shape to that to encourage you to live out the vision of the Great Commission each and every day of your life. But let's just start where Paul starts in verse 1 of 2 Timothy chapter 1. Paul says, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, according to the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus. I wish I had more time than what I get today to tell you about the awesomeness of verse one. Paul, notice how he calls himself an apostle of Christ Jesus. In fact, if you read a lot of the other Pauline letters, usually in the first few verses, Paul recognizes himself as an apostle. And I believe one of the things he's doing is reminding his audience, but more so reminding himself of who he is. Now, before Paul begins to distill some of the truths that he's got to convey to his son in the faith, Timothy, I think Paul is grounding himself in his identity. He says, I am an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God. Stay with me. Do you know who you are? Well, Paul here is teaching us that if you need to rediscover who you are, you need to remind yourself of whose you are. If you ever want to have an issue or have an issue of identity and don't know who you are and who God's called you to be and how God's called you to show up, Paul is teaching us that I have the, I have clarity on who I am by reminding myself of whose I am. We were kids and we would uh, be going out to go, you know, hang out with the peeps or going to the mall to go to Camelot and buy a $16 CD. Come on, somebody and say, man. And we'd get on our, our stone washed overall jeans with just one strap over the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? And we'd have a starter cap with the tag still hanging out. And we would have a IOU sweatshirt and we'd have on the LA gear high and boots, you better ask somebody. And we had the Dwayne Wayne flip top glasses and we were doing our thing. And we just thought we were just gonna go out there and be a big deal. And I think seeing that we were getting carried away with what the world thinks we ought to be, my mama would stop and say, when you get out there, don't you forget whose you are. In other words, don't allow the world to put a label on you. Let the label that Christ has put on you be placed on you. And if you're in a moment and where you're trying to be something else and trying to fit in with someone else and for whatever reason it's not fitting, it's because that's not who you are. Who you are is whose you are. And Paul here is saying to the church, I'm an apostle of Christ Jesus. And if you're watching me right now, it's because you have an affection for the Lord. You are his. So live that way. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.